And I believe that there are many people uh, that came into the Capitol on January 6th whose civil rights and liberties are being violated heavily. So the new majority has been constructed with votes of a, a lot of MAGA members, like Representative Green, uh, who told us in the Oversight Committee the other day that the major civil rights issue she sees in Washington today is the discriminatory mistreatment, not of Washingtonians, but of MAGA insurrectionists who are in jail for assaulting officers, interfering with a federal proceeding, and engaging in seditious conspiracy, which means conspiring to overthrow the government of the United States. With Marjorie Taylor Greene making headlines once again for her idiocy, this time claiming that today's major civil rights issue is January 6 insurrectionists being charged. And killed her. And, and no one in this Congress has really addressed that issue. January 6 committee didn't address it. And I believe that there are many people uh, that came into the Capitol on January 6th whose civil rights and liberties are being violated heavily. And this committee will, I, I hope, uh, Mr. Chairman, look into those civil rights abuses uh, because they're happening in a jail right here in this city. And I hope Ms. Norton uh, will, will care about that as well. There are a couple of things I ask myself when I hear Marge talk. I ask, God, please cleanse the sound of her voice from my ears. And then I ask, can Jamie Raskin please provide a rebuttal to her diatribe? And I'm happy to say that both wishes have been granted. That much closer to the plane of equality in the union. DC statehood did not make it through the Senate in either case, but that provisional defeat for the people of Washington is apparently not enough for the new majority, which shrewdly understands that most statehood drives take many years and that DC statehood is picking up a lot of momentum. So the new majority has been constructed with votes of a, a lot of MAGA members, um, like Representative Green, uh, who told us in the Oversight Committee the other day that the major civil rights issue she sees in Washington today is the discriminatory mistreatment, not of Washingtonians, but of MAGA insurrectionists who are in jail for assaulting officers, interfering with a federal proceeding and engaging in seditious conspiracy, which means conspiring to overthrow the government of the United States. The people of Washington are now apparently being forced to pay the price for stepping out of line and simply demanding equal rights. The majority wants to teach them a lesson for talking about statehood and opposing insurrection. And they want to turn the clock back on DC's home rule power and relive the glory days when Washington was run like a colony by some racist Dixiecrats out of the House District Committee. Yes, that was my party in power then, and it was wrong then, and it's wrong now. Today, it's the GOP that's determined to put the people of Washington in their place. And make no mistake, it's not just these two laws that showed up today without any hearing at all, without any analysis by the committee, they will be attacking Washington not just for its local voting rights policies and criminal justice code, but for its gun safety policies, its defense of abortion rights and LGBTQ rights, its decriminalization of marijuana, and dozens of other issues potentially headed to the House floor if we really want to go down this road of becoming the super DC City Council. Um, is this really how we want to be spending our time? Raskin, who has swiftly become one of my favorite Democrats. I mean, well, he's made a name for himself in how unapologetic he is in shredding Republican lies often to their face. And on more than one occasion, he's had Marge in his scope. Take, for instance, this example. The Democrats want to pass this bill to empower Democrat operatives, people that they've hired, people that they've put in their administrations. They want to make sure those Democrat operatives are there to be able to undermine the next Republican president of the United States. That should not be a federal law. And as a, for, as a business owner, I'm telling you, it's so important to be able to fire people in your company that aren't doing a good job. Why is that? Well, part of it is because of the good people of Kansas who showed them just where America is on this. America is a country committed to individual freedom and the rights of the people to make their own decisions and not having busybody theocrat politicians in state capitals telling them how to make their own decisions about their careers, about their lives, about their families, and about their health care. Blame Joe Biden for Vladimir Putin's filthy imperialist invasion of Russia. I hear them denouncing Joe Biden. They won't denounce Vladimir Putin for one second. I'd happily yield a minute if they would denounce Vladimir Putin, but they won't do it. And we've heard people over on their side cheerleading for Vladimir Putin. I heard the gentlelady from 
Georgia say Russia wins. Guess what? Russia doesn't win. The people of Ukraine are winning today. And the people of America are with the people of Ukraine. Raskin has continued to call out Marj and others alike who sympathize with terrorists under the guise of their alleged patriotism. When this, in fact, is what a real patriot looks like. And I'm happy to denounce all of it. I wish my colleagues would denounce political violence when it comes to our very doors, when it enters this chamber, rather than playing follow the leader with the former president who has disgraced himself as the first president in U.S. history to be impeached twice and continues to be embroiled in all of the political corruption investigations all over the country as it's been shown that he egged on armed protesters to come to try to attack this body and to drive Vice President Pence out of the body and to drive us out of the body as well, interfering with a federal proceeding. The best part of waking up? Maggot tears in my cup. Check out the new Maggot Sears mug available now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.